Thank you for bringing me to TGI Friday for our anniversary, Herb. Oh, well, there's no place I'd rather be, darling. I mean, after all, even in the year 2023, TGI Fridays is a world-class place to bring ladies. Uh, you know what? That that's my ex-high school boyfriend over there, Edward Cullen. I think we should go. <laughs> Bella, no. I want to I wanna meet your boyfriend from high school. That would be nice. Bella? Hello, Edward. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been too long. <laughs> Edward, this is my husband. Herb. Hey! Herb Herbenberg! So nice to meet you! Really nice to meet you there. Any, any uh, boyfriend of my uh, lady here, I guess his boyfriend of mine, look, they're alone. Why don't you have a seat there? Have a seat, join us. Yes, of course, I would, uh, I would love to sit by Bella again. Her scent is kind of like my own personal brand of heroin. Yeah, I like Pantene too. <laughs> I tell you what, you know what? You went to high school with my wife 10 years ago, and I gotta tell you, aside from being really pale, you look great, man. You, you must use a great moisturizer. It's because I'm a vampire. <laughs> because you're a what? You didn't tell him? Edward is. Tell me what? A real vampire. He's actually a vampire. Like, for real, real. <laughs> wow! You dated a vampire! <laughs> wow! I did not see that coming. <laughs> I know I should have told you, Herb, but it was a long time ago. I was in high school, and the forbidden love was just so tempting. <laughs> forbidden love can still be tempting once we get older. <clears throat> ah, well, I guess the vampire game's probably pretty good. Uh, of course, I'm doing pretty good myself. I work over at Sears in the electronics department. <laughs> I pull down about 38k a year, which is a lot considering the big crash of 2011. But trust me, trust me, it's good. I get full benefits, the 401k, dental. Vampires probably could use good dental, huh? <laughs> anyway, so I think Bella made a pretty good choice. Am I right, huh? Am I right? Yes, yes. But I'm so happy with you. These are great steak poppers. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, our relationship was always sort of complex. You remember when I had to bite your wrist in order to suck the venom out so you wouldn't become a vampire? I do. You saved me. I think it was something like this. Yeah, I saved her about April last year. You know, Bella does a lot of consulting on the side and I don't know, somebody gave her a 1099 and we didn't know what to do with it. And luckily, I found the right form. Well, we got a pretty sweet refund and about three weeks later, a nice jet ski, which is not too bad. I guess I'm a pretty good hero as well. <laughs> hero? Hmm? Yes, Bella? yes, Edward, you are. <laughs> it's Herb. <laughs> You're a kidder. You're a kidder. <laughs> you gotta watch this one. She's got the hots for you. <laughs> Bella, I still love you. You chose me once over Werewolf Jacob. You choose me again. Wait, you dated a werewolf too? Gee, <laughs> you were so loose before you met me. Look, listen, I know I'm immortal, but I can't stand to spend my life without you. Oh, and no, I can't, I can't, Edward. Herb gives me something you never can. Security, comfort, a giant penis. <laughs> Let's just admit it. I need a man to satisfy me, not a perpetually 17-year-old boy with a tiny vampire penis. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Edward. Ouch! <laughs> Did not see that one coming there. <laughs> ah, those are the breaks, I guess. Big penis, little penis, vampire, not, I don't care. Here's my card. If you ever want to buy a 52 inch hollow plasma TV for the year 2023, come on over to Sears. I'll get you fixed up with a discount. Just tell them Herb sent you. Bella! Yes. What? 
<laughs> you know, I, I think we're all out of blood. Uh, how, how about a fresca? Only if it's diet. <laughs> <laughs>